More minifigures in the mail. What's inside the minifigs monthly for December 2018? The Dementor. Well, we're about to find out. We're going to open this up. This is the Mini Figs Monthly for, I believe, December 2018. Every single month, they they ship to you. Anybody want to guess? Yes, Lego Mini Figures. Uh, another one has arrived. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And if you're interested in subscribing and getting Mini Figures delivered to your house every single month, I'll put the link to, down below. Uh, once again, fantastic envelope that they shipped this in. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about an envelope, but let me just tell you, Jack, this is a fantastic looking envelope. I get almost lost just kind of dazing out into looking at this envelope and how it's cascading all these various colors. Fantastic work, and I haven't even opened it up yet. We are going to open it up, however, and find out what we got inside. And I guess the best way to do that is I'm probably going to have to reach off camera to the black hole of obscurity and grab my, now my knife, Old Red. We're going to go ahead and cut open, making sure, of course, we're not cutting anything vital. Don't want to be cutting any organs, after all. And let's have a look at what we got inside. So we got ourselves a little pamphlet. I hope it doesn't give away anything. No, it does not. Okay. Minifigs Monthly have... Your minifigs have arrived from Minifigs Monthly. Whether you are a Lego fanatic, casual fan, or AFOL, that would be an adult fan of Lego, we hope you enjoy this month's Minifigs pack. I know a boy. His name is Zach. He loves to build. He loves to stack. In fact, construction is his knack. He's Zach the Lego Maniac. I digress. I'm here all day, by the way. I, literally, I'm here all day. Joy awaits. Check out us on social media. You can contact minifigsmonthly at gmail.com. You can also head over to their website, which I will put down below. That's almost a sad noise. minifigs-monthly.cratejoy.com. I don't think I actually know a guy named Zach, by the way. If I did, though, I would hope at the very least he was a Lego maniac. If he wasn't, I would be extremely disappointed. So we got ourselves a sticker. Uh, you know I love stickers like the next guy. So that's very, very cool. I can peel that off. I can put that into, yeah, yeah, sticker album. Yeah, no, I got I heard you. Sticker album. I'll put that in my sticker album. So let's have a look at some of the things we got inside. I think they're all Star Wars heavy. Uh, this is Snoke. Specifically, this is the minifigure type Supreme Leader Snoke from the Lego Lego Star Wars. Um, and it says the Force down below is his accessory. I don't see an accessory. I guess being that the Force is invisible, that's the accessory that came included with Snoke. By the way, what was the deal with Snoke? I'm not going to give anything away. Has everybody seen The Last Jedi? Everybody? Everybody? What's the deal? I mean, they play up all these characters and the Force Awakens and then just sort of dismiss everybody. Snoke as well. You think that he was going to be played up as a substantial bad guy. <sniffs> Nothing. Big old disappointment. Anyways, there is Snoke, the minifigure. I'm not going to talk too much about Lego, about Star Wars The Last Jedi, because I could certainly go to town on that. Uh, a neat looking minifigure, all cast, all done in this gold plastic. You can see there's printing there on the back. There's printing also on the front. There's printing down below there as well. And there's his face. He's disappointed, really, by his overall performance in Last Jedi. Snoke, it's it's okay, buddy. We all, I think we can all relate to the disappointment of some of the changes made in that movie. Sort of just dismisses everything, doesn't it? Uh, moving along, this is Xander Freemaker. This is from the Lego Star Wars. And he comes with the accessory of a wrench, minifigure number three. I guess I'm doing this sort of out of sequence, aren't I? Dump up the contents. Dump, 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 dump. There we go. There we go. All right. Got himself a wrench. That's his tool of the trade. That's what the figure looks like. Does he have any other reverse face printing? No, he does not. He looks like the blank from Dick Tracy. How's that for a reference? A nice looking figure. Kind of looks like me, actually. A little minus, again, a little bit of stubble there on the face, which I like to consider as organized neglect. Oh, you're growing facial hair? No, it's it's organized neglect. It's like I care, but I don't, don't care enough. I don't really like to be clean shaven anyways. Anyways, there's the face, slightly tanned, slightly tanned skin, I guess, by contrast to Snoke there. It's, 
it's, a, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Decent enough looking minifigure. The hair, again, looks similar, very oddly similar to the kind of stuff that I do on my quaff. Putting him down right there. We also have minifigure number one, which is, I guess, something I should have done in proper sequence. Minifigure one was Dangar. I love just saying that name, Dangar. Lego uh, theme, once again, was Lego Star Wars. He comes with a stud shooter. Well, I think I better hit the hills. <laughs> I'm here all day. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy out of his bag. There we go. Comes with a stud shooter. What's that all about? I guess that was its name. Stud shooter. I think that's a requirement for any guy. Especially if somebody is using a stud detector, you know, for construction, somebody sooner or later has to make that comment, you know, about be them being a stud. Anyways, I don't know why we're talking about that. I don't know what this is. Is this just like a little, what is this? Oh, it goes on his back. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, man? It goes up on his back. There we go. A little backpack. I'm like, what is that? Like a rocket iron? No, it's not, you silly goose. You are silly silly man there's his stud shooter and that's actually it's not relative to star wars but it's the fact that it shoots a stud yes there we go dangar does dangar have anything on the back of his face no he does not wiped completely clean there's his face though looks good i know i don't ever have a dangar in my collection but if my bucket list of things I need to do in life before I, you know, if I had Dangar on my list, Dangar minifigure, I would just be immediately stopping this review, grabbing my notepad, hold on a second, hold on a second, guys, and somehow, some way, I have a bucket list list over on the side, I just take it off and I'm crossing it out. And everybody quickly freezes the, the still to like look at my list of stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, grow a field of corn. That's not really on my bucket list, but could you imagine just some of the things, some of the obscure things I could put on here? I'm taking this guy out. I'm not even really looking at the back here. Minifigure 4 is an Imperial Navy captain. Still from the Lego Star Wars theme. And the accessory, another stud shooter. Which I don't think he... Did he come with a... Oh, he did come with a stud. Okay. All right. I better head for the hills. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Get a load of this guy. Okay, so we put the stud shooter into his hand. There we go. And that's what... That is apparently what he looks like. That would be, once again, the... Uh, which one was it? This is the Imperial Navy Captain. I don't know what it... It'd be funny if they actually put a name on there. Like, it's Imperial Navy Captain Derek. It's Derek, you know, he works hard goes home to a small family, but growing ever, every day. His wife is currently pregnant and he's looking to kind of expand and maybe move away from the empire. Go and do farming for a while. Maybe farming for corn. Hold on a second. Let me just cross that off my bucket list. There we go. There we go. Pose Billy on this. I'm sure I don't have to tell everybody about this. Well, I will anyways. Head. Head. Well, head. There we go. Arms. Legs. And that's it. That's what he does. And he comes with a stud stud shooter. That would be the Imperial Navy Captain named Derek. Let's have a look at all the ones that we got in this lineup from Minifigs Monthly. We've already looked at Derek. It's not his name? No, I know. No, it's not his name. We're, we're having fun with it. Uh, Dangar. Dangar. Got him. Uh, this one was, I keep drawing a blank, Xander Freemaker. Oh, right, it was on the tip of my tongue. Xander Freemaker. And we started this review with a sla slightly shortcomings Snoke. Kind of does, doesn't does deliver in the sequel. It's it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'm sure you'll be, you'll be right up there with all the, the big baddies of Star Wars. Vader, Emperor, Darth Maul. Down here. Snoke. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Either way, guys, if you are interested in getting yourself a sticker and getting yourself a minifigures, depending on where your priority is set, you might want to subscribe to the Minifigs Monthly. This was, by the way, the Minifigs Monthly for... I'm just going to insert 
a, a month. I think it was, I mean, for the fact it says Joy Awaits, maybe it was Christmas themed. I mean, I, it was last month by the time like shipping and stuff happens. I'm going to just go ahead, go on a limb and say it was December 2018. Uh, again, if you guys want to subscribe, it's as easy as heading over to minifigs-monthly.cratejoy.com. Hey now, hey now, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Let that be your bucket list to check off. Subscribe to the coolest channel on YouTube. Right, done so. Right, and we got to grow some corn. Uh, certainly more videos, guys, will be coming your way as well, so keep your eyes peeled. Ew, that's gross. But certainly more videos will be coming away. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.